I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but then my friend said, Hey, let's go out and look at watch straps. Yeah, I ended up getting one. Uh, I got poor EQ. Yeah, I think it looks good. Does it look good? Yeah. This is a um, Sakura Fubuki Presage. Uh, it was given to me by my wife. It's a uh, limited edition watch. Uh, I think there's only 3,600 made. Let's see. Yeah. It's got a number somewhere here. Yeah, 3,500. I don't know if you can see that there, but it says this is number... 2,400. This is number 2,742 out of 3,500. Yeah, so... I like the watch. It's, it's, it's nice. It's... it's small enough that I can wear it in formal locations but and now with this new strap it's got this uh, more casual vibe this is still wonderful I, I just love the texture in that face I don't know if you can see it well in video yeah so uh, there's my watch I was uh, supposed to do a um, a review on the moment lenses um, right now I'm using the 18 millimeter on some of my b-roll footage I used the 58 millimeter uh, lens yeah, their portrait tully lens I used to have the 60 but they had this bad vignetting on the edges for especially here in the pixel so um, I ended up switching to the 58 last year and it's much sharper there's no vignetting and I just love the bokeh on that. Let's, let's switch it over. Yeah, here here's the um, Momentale. I'm filming the same watch. You can just see how nice and blurred the background is. It's pretty good. This is the uh, Moment Wide. You can see the background is pushed much farther off. I'm gonna switch over now to the uh, normal pixel lens and I'm gonna try to keep the little minion here uh, roughly the same size. And this is the normal pixel lens. You can see that the background's a little larger now. The figure is roughly the same size. Now we're gonna switch to the uh, portrait lens there, 58 millimeter. And this is the 58 millimeter. Uh, you can see the background is much, much more compressed now. Um, the buildings appear to be bigger in relation to the figure. The figure is still roughly the same size as it was before. I moved the camera a little bit further back this time again. You can also see that uh, you got very nice shallow depth of field just with the moment lens alone. Nothing changed in camera. I'm filming with the same settings using Filmic Pro. The thing is with the shallow depth of field of the uh, Bowman 58, it's a little bit harder to maintain focus. But when you get the focus right, it really looks good. Yes, uh, so these lenses uh, also come with these uh, tiny little pouches. They're microfibers. They can serve as a nice cleaning cloth for your lenses. I like to keep them on this belt clip. It makes it easier for me to just pick up the lenses and yeah on the go. So this clips in your belt here in this belt loop. I think you can cl clip it on your backpack wherever. I like to keep it on my belt. It's kind of a dad thing but it's practical. It's easy to reach. Leave the lens open, put it up, snap it in. Each lens comes with its own uh, lens cap. Sadly there is no lens cap for the other end of the lens. Um, yeah so you just gotta be careful um, getting dirt in there. Worst case, you can uh, get the lens pen for a moment. It's got a nice uh, brush to uh, get off the dust. And on the other end, there's a nice lens pen. Get the dust off and get any smudges off. I also have the uh, bigger moment case, but I use it uh, to keep my boosted boards remote. 
as well as some other charging cables. It's got four pouches where you can keep your lenses in. We go in like that. That about covers it. A lot of the time uh, when people switch to um, telephoto or uh, wide angle, it's to get closer or farther from the subject. Generally, I don't use it like that. I like using the uh, 58 millimeter um, when I want to bring the background closer, like uh, I showed you earlier in the video. With the um, 58 millimeter, uh, you get the closer background and um, Generally, there's less distortion in the face, so it looks better as well for portraits. And that shallow depth of field uh, gives you um, nice bokeh uh, without relying on your phone's portrait mode, which is actually it looks kind of fake when you when you use the portrait mode on the camera. For vlogging, I generally like using this 18 millimeter because uh, without the 18 millimeter, I have to hold the phone further, which kind of looks dumber than it should be also since i can hold the phone closer the microphone is also closer and hopefully i am getting better audio and you're hearing me better obviously i couldn't use a 58 millimeter for vlogging because then <laughs> maybe all you'll be seeing is my nose which is probably not the best thing to see so uh, i'm gonna show you some stills here um, you can see from the still photos um, what I was talking about in the background, how the background shifts. Um, the 18 millimeter would push the background further uh, and the um, 58 millimeter would be pushing the background closer. And you could also see uh, how the um, lens affects the features of this fake minion, uh, the bootleg minion. Yeah, I'm gonna call it that. Discount minion. <laughs> Uh, one thing, one thing I, 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 I'm not too keen about the 18 uh, millimeter is that um, it has a tendency to get lens flares. Um, I'm gonna try to show you some footage here. Um, of me walking outside, you can see the lens flare uh, hitting whenever it, when, whenever the strong sunlight hits it. You can you can solve it by trying to put out your hand like like this around the lens and then form it like a shade. Um, it's a short video, but I hope I gave you a good idea on how the lens performs, if it's for you. They are pretty expensive purchases. Um, let me check how much they cost right now. They're about $100, $120 without the discount, but right now they're on sale because it's Black Friday. They're only about um, $90, $89.99. Go get them now while they're on sale. You're gonna need the moment case. I'll review the case probably another time, but you're gonna need the moment case to use with the phone. Uh, they've been improving the case quite a bit since I've started using them. I've been using the eight, this 18 millimeter for about two years now. So this, this lens has seen some mileage. Uh, with that, I had the 60 millimeter, but I replaced that because it had vignetting and uh, the edges. Uh, just wouldn't focus right. There was, was blurry on the edges of the frame. You take a um, uh, an image which is already pretty much uh, close up because it's a tele lens, and then you still have to crop the edges off. The edges are just no good. The new 58 millimeter, however, solves that. It's bigger. It uh, doesn't have the vignetting, and it's it, it's much sharper overall, edge to edge. All right. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. See ya! That was annoying. I um, apparently I've been filming myself in 1080p instead of the usual 4K. I hope the footage comes out right. <laughs> Seems I've been doing it since um, I don't know, maybe the last few days of week two.